need to evacuate due to a landslide crisis. Now, what that means is there's a town outside of a major American city where the power had to be shut off to more than 200 homes over the weekend because dramatic shifting of land has made it too dangerous to power those homes. That shifting could cause damage to electrical equipment and cause fires. Jonathan Bigliotti spoke to angry homeowners who want the governor to step in. Um, we have a loft upstairs. 81-year-old Sally Reeves has lived in this house in Rancho Palos Verdes for 42 years. Um, the stairway was coming away from the wall. For more than six months, she's watched almost every room in her home fall apart as landslides worsen in her community. This is what it did to our bedroom. So this was where a bed would normally be. Our bed was right here. <laughs> and this is the cracking from this landslide. Yes. She's lived in this broken home while taking care of her disabled husband. And you can see where the house has literally been ripped yeah. apart right down the middle. Now the power company, Southern California Edison, has cut the Reeves and hundreds of their neighbors' electricity for an unknown amount of time. Hey Amy, what we're hearing right now is the generator because the power was turned yes. off on Sunday. Yes. She refuses to leave and is now living in the garage. Underneath these seaside homes, a large complex of landslides started moving faster after historic rains pummeled the area. 